Hello, hello. Thank you, thank you. I'm glad you're all still here. Um, and thanks to Dr. Gale and Michael Wilner, who remind us that strong leaders who wield intellect and inspiration, heart and soul, can really galvanize the rest of us to work for positive change. They are the better angels of our nature. And tonight's final angel is one such leader, and I'm exceptionally proud to say that he's one of our own. Tonight, we honor my friend and colleague, Bill Rohde, with Cable Positive's Joel A. Berger Award. Now, Bill has been leading MTV Networks internationally for over 20 years. He's launched over 100 channels in over 100 countries in 33 languages, and he's put MTV and Nickelodeon in 520 million living rooms around the world. He's entertained Nelson Mandela and Tony Blair and Bono with equal ease. And his home in London with his wife, Alex, and his four gorgeous kids is a stop on every cool traveler's itinerary. They live in a church. Now, Bill has conquered more nations than Alexander, Caesar, and Napoleon put together. But unlike those characters, he's never been chased out of a single one. Very few executives in any international business have that sort of record. But here's what really sets Bill Rohde apart. He's not a businessman who dabbles in humanitarian work. Bill is a humanitarian through and through, who also happens to be very, very good at business. When he arrives in a new country, he heads first to the hardest hit part of town. He wants to visit the AIDS clinic the hospice, the school, or the medical center, where the needs of the community are very, very obvious and he needs to do something about it. In India, Bill visits the children of prostitutes at risk not only from HIV, but from kidnappers and sexual predators. In South Africa, he heads to the townships and finds the youth center where the kids are being educated about condom use and safe sex. And in China, Bill's team found a way to get AIDS prevention messages previously a very forbidden subject, onto television in a way that made the authorities comfortable. And you know how he did it? A series that appealed to Chinese nationalism called Defend China, Fight AIDS. He is subversive in the best possible way. <laughs> and when you think about it, for almost the entire lifespan of MTV, HIV AIDS has been the defining public health crisis. Our audience, like our company, has literally come of age with this devastating epidemic. And from our early 80s safe sex PSAs to Pedro Zamora on the real world to Logo's look at the movement today to the stigma faced by children infected by the virus, we've really sought to humanize and amplify the many voices and faces of HIV AIDS all around the world. It's been the top target of all of Viacom's pro-social campaigns with Bill at the very heart of it. On his watch, our International Staying Alive campaign has produced award-winning documentaries, concerts, films, and public service announcements aimed at at-risk young adults. And they're available freely to any and every broadcaster around the world. Staying Alive took on a new dimension when Bill helped create the Staying Alive Foundation. It provides small grants to inspiring young leaders in more than 30 countries around the world who are working on the front lines of HIV AIDS prevention. Eight years ago, Bill helped found the Global Business Coalition on HIV AIDS and served as its first chair. Today, the GBC has grown in scope and size, boasting dozens of Fortune 500 companies among its members. That same year, Bill was appointed ambassador for UN AIDS. And when UN Secretary General Kofi Annan named Bill the founding chair of the Global Media AIDS Leadership Committee, Bill mobilized over 140 media companies from over 70 nations in the fight, all while doing his day job for MTV Networks. Bill's phenomenal work has not gone unrecognized. He's been honored by the International Emmys, International AIDS Trust, and Youth AIDS. Now you'd think that more than two decades of this sort of activity would constitute a life's work, and for anyone else it would. But Rhodey has already had several incarnations and he has many more to come. It's been a long, strange, and wonderful trip from West Point to Vietnam to Harvard to HBO to rock and roll and hip hop to the stage tonight. But you don't have to take my word for this. Let me introduce an exceptional voice 
a great human being and a citizen of the world, one more friend of Bill, please welcome Wyclef Jean.